Hi, I'm Lucy and in this video we're going to learn all about the basics of graphs. What are axes? How do coordinates work? And what are quadrants? Starting from the beginning, notice how the horizontal axis is called X and the vertical axis is called Y and they all start at zero here in the middle, which is known as the origin. With the positive numbers going in these directions, and the negative numbers going backwards and downwards. It's really important to remember that the x-axis is the horizontal one. Just think, x is across, so x goes across. So now we know all about how the axes work, let's make use of them. So coordinates are written as two numbers, separated by a comma and with brackets around. The first number is the x-coordinate, and the second number is the y-coordinate. This is easy to remember because the first numbers are long and the second one is up or down because you have to go along the corridors before you can go up the stairs. Or you might just like to think of it alphabetically, x comes before y. So what are the coordinates of this point? Pause the video, have a think, and click play when you're ready to check. It is 1, 4, because it is 1 along from the origin, and 4 up. Where would negative 4, 6 go on the grid? Pause the video, have a think, and click play when you're ready to check. Did you think it was here? So it's negative 4 in this direction, and 6 squares up. Coordinates are really useful for maps for GPS systems, for computer games, for pixels on screens. And these are known as Cartesian coordinates, in honour of the man who developed them in the 17th century. Notice how the graph is divided into four sections. These are called quadrants. Notice how they're numbered in an anti-clockwise direction, starting at one and going around to four. So there we have axes, coordinates and quadrants. In the next video, we're going to look at horizontal and vertical lines and two important diagonal lines.